Well, Canada's Minister of National Defence, Harjit Sajjan, is in Surrey, British Columbia, taking part in a 9-11 memorial. Over 250 American and Canadian law enforcement officers, firefighters and paramedics are attending. So our five first responders from New York who served on, 9, so on September 11. And we're now reaching out to the Minister of National Defence, Harjit Sajjan, in Surrey. Minister, thank you for joining us today. Hi, thank you for having me. Uh, as we look back 15 years from today, where were you on 9-11? I think every Canadian yeah, knows where, where they were and what they were doing at, on that day. And I was actually, I was finishing my uh, shift from the Vancouver Police uh, that day, uh, driving home when I heard on the news uh, what had happened and immediately turned on the TV as soon as I got home and uh, realized uh, what was happening. And my pager went off because uh, uh, I was also part of the uh, Vancouver Heavy Air and Rescue Team at that time when put on standby uh, to, uh, to go to, uh, to, to New York. And, and the rest, we all know about what happened after that. Well, on standby to go to New York. So what was the mood like on the streets of Vancouver? Uh, very somber, uh, disbelief, um, but also um, uh, very resolute in terms of uh, being uh, uh, showing solidarity uh, with our uh, uh, American friends um, and our colleagues, uh, especially when it came to law enforcement, uh, the firefighters uh, uh, and the paramedics that were killed. Um, on that day, um, and uh, our men and women who were also getting ready uh, to who would later on serve shoulder to shoulder in uh, the battlefields uh, uh, in Afghanistan. Well, of course, you were one of those people that served in Afghanistan with Canadian forces after your time was done with Vancouver Police. When you were in Afghanistan, did you think of 9-11 and what your mission was and how it was affected by the events in New York? Oh, absolutely. Um, and I served alongside uh, U.S. troops on my first deployment to uh, to Afghanistan, as, um, as did uh, many other uh, uh, Canadian troops. Um, and I also had the uh, uh, privilege and honour to serve. Uh, my third deployment actually was officially attached with uh, the 10th Mountain Division uh, during the U.S. surge. Uh, and you get a sense for um, you know, that, that camaraderie that's created between, between our uh, two nations, especially when it comes to a horrific, tragic uh, a terrorist event uh, uh, that, that occurred. Uh, just demonstrates that our history is marred with uh, uh, a shared history that goes back all the way to, uh, to World War One. Well, a shared history, but in more recent history, of course, 9-11 is a terror attack. Terrorism has been uh, a word that's been bandied about, debated, and talked about since 9-11. And it also brings up the issue of C-51. Of course, when your government uh, was campaigning, the election campaign, uh, it promised that it would amend the controversial C-51. Uh, you, you've now announced a public consultation into it. And yet, C-51 essentially helped avert something in, in terms of uh, what took place, uh, an attack happening rather in London, Ontario, uh, what took place in Strathroy. How do you balance preventing terrorism and violence in Canada with issues of civil liberties? The, when it comes to preventing of attacks, we always, it's, it's, not, it's not just legislation that does it. It's actually our men and women in uniform who are on a daily basis that actually do the, the great work. They're the ones that actually go out and do the work when it comes to uh, uh, preventing these uh, attacks. Um, we also do have a, 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 a role, role to play um, in this, and the Prime Minister has been very clear. The security of Canadians is always at the, the, the number one priority uh, for our government, but we have to do it in a manner that protects um, our rights, and we as a government are committed to, uh, to, to that. And that's the reason why uh, we have uh, uh, increased our intelligence and our uh, troop contribution to the mission in Iraq. Uh, we're also going to be deploying on peace operations to look at uh, and dealing with trying to reduce uh, conflict in the world. And Minister Goodell works um, extensively with his, uh, his American counterparts uh, to making sure that law enforcement and uh, the other first responders work very closely to, to prevent these attacks. But we can never forget, and especially on a day like this, when it comes to preventing attacks, it's our men and women in uniform that are on the, on, on the front who actually do the real work in preventing these type of tragedies from happening. But what about B uh, Bill C-51? How will those amendments also enshrine uh, civil liberties, protect civil liberties uh, against th this very strong imperative to also prevent terrorism from happening. Uh, we, uh, Canadians uh, know that we there we need to have a balance between um, our security and and our fundamental rights. Otherwise, um, our veterans who have fought in all the different wars, uh, how it be you know they've uh, they fought for our liberties. So we can't just throw our. Uh, 
um, our privacy and liberties uh, out the windows when events like this happen. What we need to do is making sure that we look at exactly where uh, we need to provide the right security. Priority uh, for uh, uh, security for Canadians is always number one, uh, and especially uh, for, uh, for myself. And But we ha always have to be mindful. We have to do it in a manner that respects our Canadian Canadian values, and which is the uh, our, our privacy, and we will we need to get this balance right. And Minister Goodell has uh, launched uh, his reviews. I also have a defense policy review that that's uh, my, uh, almost complete, and we we will um, at the end um, uh, get this right and making give confidence to Canadians that they will be protected, and also their uh, privacy will be protected as well. Minister, thank you for this. Okay, thank you. And that was Canada's Minister of National Defence, Harjit Sajjan, in Surrey, British Columbia.